how to wall mount a G-series OLED the easy way. This is the same on the well G1, 2, 3 and 4. So this is the G4. It doesn't come with a wall mount this year. It came with a pedestal stand, which it's on now. Wall mount is hidden away under this flap, which removes. So what I've actually got last year's wall mount off a 55 OLED G3. If I look at the writing on it, it says OLED 83C1. Nothing's really changed and locates onto the back there. So we've got four sort of holes and slots that it drops into and it gives you room to level it up. So if you don't get that level to start with, it's quite forgiving. Uh, start off by putting it in there. There's two spring clips you can just locate there so it can't fall off completely. I'm going to push it back flat to the TV. So I'll mark a line on the wall where I want the top of my TV, measure down from the top of my TV to the top of the bracket and I know where on the wall the top of the bracket wants to be. So with my tape measure here, push that bracket up that middle. So I make that about 98 mil down for so from the top of the TV to the top of the bracket, 98 millimeters. This is the wall where the TV is going. I've marked top of the TV there. I hope it shows up. I forgot to say, I've put a couple layers of plier there because I've got these battens running down the wall. So on an ordinary wall, you wouldn't do that. Uh, and it would just click back flat nicely. But because I've got these, I've got to bring the bracket off about six to eight mil. So the TV clicks back nicely on that bracket. Top of the TV is marked there. We said 98 mil down to the top of the bracket, which I'll mark here. Okay, so that is my top of bracket. I've got a center line marked down the wall as well from previous TVs. You can see there where I had the G3 last year. I would have liked it the same, but I've just gone that bit higher. Okay, and it's probably worth opening and closing this bracket a couple of times before it goes on just to make it nice and easy. And I'm gonna click it back flat for now while I mark it out. So get that roughly central spirit level on the top and just level it up pretty much bang on there. Mark out the slots for the screws. Okay, right, so I'm just going to pre-drill those, screw those in. So at home, it's on a brick wall. I use the supplied fixings uh, and an appropriate drill bit, drill into your masonry, brickwork, whatever, and use the appropriate bolts. There were screws and plugs included, which are actually all right. This is a MDF wall with stud in. So I'm going to pre-drill and put wood screws in. Pre-drill these holes quickly. Drill uh, wood screws in next. So I've got one wood screw in. I'll just get another in and nip it up somewhere level with the spirit level on. I hope. Okay, now just whip the rest in. Before I lift the TV up, I've got to just pull the bracket away from the wall. He says it's a bit hard on the magnets when it's clicked back. Okay, so I'll pull that all the way out to make life easier. We've got those two springs. Make sure the spring clips are out of the way there as well so it can just slot straight down onto it. To remove the TV from the pedestal stand, four screws that I put in. And if you are nervous about this, have somebody stood in front of it so it can't tip off forwards. I mean, it shouldn't, it's got two plastic tabs. 
Put my hand in front just in case. And it should just lift off like so. There you go. And you're free. Okay, so it's a bit tricky for me to try and talk and do this holding a 65 inch tally on one arm. But there's four slots, four lugs on the back of the tally. And it is hard because I can't actually see what I'm doing. It's got to drop down and in. I'm in. Okay, we can see where it's kind of slotted in there and there. And then we've got these spring clips to just push back either side. I've got my cables installed. It's important you route those cables neatly behind the TV, all in order, don't cross them over, and that'll help it push it back flat. And just give it a wiggle, wiggle it back. If it doesn't go back very easily, then you need to sort the arms out, look over the top of it, do whatever's necessary and just fold the arms out. So it should push back fairly easily with a little bit of pressure and it should click. Okay, spirit level on the top and you can just rock it side to side, well, move it on those sliders to find the level and that's it. Whew. Nice and accurate screen underneath. 